I'm here in the area of Barolo, just below the town of La Morra. I'm at the cantina of Elio Altare, famous winemaker, began the new wave of producers in the 80s. We're going to hang with him and his daughter, Silvia, and taste the wonderful 2007 vintage. Let's go. What I love about your sevens, all I've tasted, mm -hmm. they just have these super, they're fat, juicy, but they're very balanced at the same time. The acidity balances everything. They have the smell of a very warm vintage, but the freshness of a cool vintage. So it's just, just good. <laughs> of course, I hang out with winemakers, daughters, mm -hmm. and sons. So we taste from barrel, from tank, and they were already approachable from tank. We've been experimenting, like this year we've been destemming some, um, some Nebbiolo by, and fermenting it a little bit longer in a larger vats, and then we s switched from barrel to another kind of barrel, but well, the style is 90% always the same. God, these are really delicious, amazing. I actually really like the fourth one. Was it four? Yeah, the four a bit. I'm deciding whether I like Three or four better. Yeah. Does that make any sense to you? Uh, it, it, it does. They're my favorite. But four right now, I think, is showing very well. To what I like, it's nice now. Four is very, um, it's a, li a little bit softer tannins Sit. and a little bit denser yeah. in fruit. Sit. But I'm trying to decide if in the end three will be better because of that powerful tannin backbone. Well, let's see what they are. Okie dokie. So. Number one, which was number two, basically, that's how I number them, is Vigneto Arborina. Oh, okay. So, a vineyard just below the terrace, the one where you were, you were talking on the terrace, just below you, that's Arborina. It's sourced from that vineyard. Then we got number one, which was tasted, tasted at second. It's the regular Barolo. Okay, that's why it uh, makes sense. Also, so, more open, yeah. softer, easy. And uh, it's I a blend why, of a couple vineyards. Yeah, why, I said, why wait? So yummy already. See, see, see. And this, which is basically our, both our favorite, is... This is new. No one has tasted this yet. It's a new vineyard. Whoa. It's a... Ceretta. I don't have labels yet, I'm sorry, because okay. this is going to be sold in six years. We are releasing now all five. Okay. So it's not going to be a reserva because we won't do the you know extra year in wood, but mm. we're just holding it back a little longer because it's Serralunga. It's the big guy. And last, it's the Lamora Vineyard, Brunate. Oh, okay, bellissimo. Okay. Si. I just finished the tasting. Beautiful wines. I love the ripe fruit, but then you have this freshness and these firm tannins. Reminds me of 1996, which is a great classic year for Barolo. And the Brunati, that single vineyard Brunati that uh, Elio and, and Silvia made, fabulous. I love the rich fruit, the round tannins, soft, beautiful, but lots of power too. It's a wine that you can enjoy now, but it's going to age for a long, long time. Really delicious.